those, if you take the inside part of a, a healthy cell, it's called the cytoplasm. Cyto means cell, plasma means stuff. If you take the cell stuff from the middle of a healthy cell and stick it in a cancer cell, that cancer cell dies. Yes, you have chemotherapy, natural chemotherapy in your cells, in a healthy cell, but a cancer cell has switched all these systems off. So essential fatty acids, vitamin C, staying away from sugar as best as we can, more protein, relaxing the body, everything we talk about in this program, digestive health, blood sugar health, thyroid health. By the way, I did a, a little video on the triangle of disease. Check out criticalhealthnews.com or subscribe to the newsletter. We do them every, uh, myself and my friend John T. Collier do them um, every couple of weeks or so. That's how you deal with cancer. The same way you deal with arthritis, the same way you deal with acne, the same way you deal with heart disease, everything. Now, once you have stage one or stage two, you just gotta be more vigilant about it. If you're in stage three or four, you know, if you've you're got raging cancer metastasized all over your body, that's different. But if you're in stage one or two where it's local, your job is to protect and help the body take care of it. Immediately go on the ketogenic diet. This is just my opinion, you guys. Immediately go on the ketogenic diet, fast. Reduce the inflammatory process. And of course, when it comes to inflammation, nothing is more important than the molecules of inflammation, your essential fatty acids, which not surprisingly, the omega-3s have been shown to be anti-cancer. One of the most significant places and one of the most underappreciated places where this inflammatory process shows up is in the blood. And I know I talked about it last week and I'll talk about it. I'm going to continue talking about it. I remember reading an article a couple of years ago in a pharmacy trade journal. I like reading pharmacy trade journals. I get a bunch of them, U.S. pharmacist and American pharmacist and pharmacy times, etc. I remember reading an article, I don't remember from which magazine, it talked about, it, it was an interview, <laughs> this is so evil, it was an interview with a drug company president who was practically drooling through the magazine. You could feel his drool coming through the, the article about how excited he was about the blood anticoagulant market, the new blood thinning market, and all the new drugs that were going to be coming out. This was maybe four, five years ago, four or five years ago. All the new wonderful drugs that were going to be coming out to help people with their coagulated blood and how much money was to be made. According to uh, Trimark Publications, a, pr a company that produces market journals for various markets and a lot for the, for the drug market, uh, $2,500 a pop, by the way. Uh, newly, their newly published new oral anticoagulant market report says that you've got a $24 billion market, $24 billion market by 2019. You don't think that these drug companies are interested in maintaining our sticky, coagulated, clotted blood and keeping us on these things? Zarelto and Eliquis and Pradaxa and used to be just warfarin. Now, have you seen how many are out now? That's because we have an epidemic of dirty blood, because we have an epidemic of anti, uh, of clotted blood. But that is not a problem because the good news is, is we're in charge of our blood. There's only one person in charge of our blood, and that is us, largely through the foods we're eating. And that's good news if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you here momentarily. If you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel and all our Vitamin C products. You can also sign up for a newsletter and also just check out our blog. You can also check out my blog at The Truth With Ben. Those, that's my skin health blog. You can also check out my general health blog at PharmacistBen.com and CriticalHealthNews.com where you can purchase longevity products or sign, sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. Have you been following uh, the, all the political stuff? I don't know. I know some of my listeners are, some of you guys are politically minded. I follow it. I don't take it seriously. I just find it historically interesting and somewhat entertaining. Used to be a little more entertaining. Now it's getting to be kind of serious. But you know, all the presidential candidates are all about health care. They all want everybody to have health care. Even the Republicans want everybody to have health care. But when they say health care, you know what they mean? They mean the right to go to your doctor. When, they, when Bernie Sanders who's the, and Hillary Clinton, they're the most egregious violators. 
but they're all the same. I don't really want to pick on those guys. But when they talk about everybody having the right to health care, what they're talking about is everybody getting the right to drugs, everybody getting the right to have a colonoscopy, everybody getting the right to have a, a checkup with the doctor because these guys don't know anything about health or how the body works. When was the last time you heard a presidential candidate say, everybody's going to be guaranteed vitamin C? Everybody is going to be guaranteed a rebounder in their living room. Everybody's going to be guaranteed a nutritional supplement program. Everybody's going to be guaranteed a uh, $100 monthly stipend, $150 monthly stipend to get on auto ship with longevity. When I hear a, nutritional, uh, a presidential candidate talking about guaranteed rights to nutritional supplementation, then I'm going to take it seriously. Not guaranteed rights to get your prescription drugs. Guaranteed rights for the government to pay. Bernie Sanders is all about, we should have. <laughs> it's unconscionable how, how expensive drugs are. They should be cheap. They should be free. We're going to make them free. We're not going to. We pay the highest, uh, 25% higher rates for our drugs than any other company. That's not right. We should have them free. We should have all the drugs. This is how they think of health care. This is the world we're living in. This is the meme, M-E-M-E, -E, the meme that has been crafted for us by people who benefit, of course. Not, by, not for us. It ain't for our mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and children. Trust me. I was part of it. I'm still technically part of it as a registered pharmacist. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about blood inflammation, possibly the single most important idea the single most important health strategy of all health strategies to thin, to liquefy, to improve the cleanliness, to detoxify the blood, to improve its ability to oxygenate cells, to feed cells, and to detoxify them. 844-236-6010 is our number. Welcome to the Bright Side, Mark. What's going on, buddy? Uh, yes, hi. Um, I um, wanted to ask about uh, acne that's like deep in the skin. Um, yes, that's good news. That's the best kind of acne because it's the easiest one to resolve. You know, that's, and you, I don't know, is it for you, Mark, by the way? Yes. yes. How old are you, bro? 40. Okay. So, oh, really? Okay. So you got, some, you got more than that. You got other things going on there. So here's the deal with the body. The more messed up, freaked out, the sicker the body is, the easier it is to turn things around. Now, it may take you longer to completely resolve it, but to notice results, to get dramatic, visible results for you and for other people when you have deep acne or when you have a lot of weight to lose or when you have a serious autoimmune disease, this is good news because the body is so beautiful and it wants to be healthy so badly that the more weight we need to lose, the faster it comes off. The worse our skin is, the faster it improves. The more dramatic our symptoms are, the more profound our symptomology, the quicker it resolves. So as far as what you're calling cyst is a cystic acne, that is you're developing these pockets of dead cells and immunity and uh, whatever the attacking agent is, oils, uh, underneath the skin. And if you press, I take it, you feel a little bit of pain, correct? If you press right. on one of them? Yes. yes. Because, because there's a lot of nerves in there. Now, are they hard or are they softer? Uh, or is hard. It hard, hard. Okay, good. All right, so you're 40. This should not happen at the age of 40. If you were younger, I would tell you, uh, if you were, and it shouldn't happen anyway, but if you're younger, I would tell you immediately go look for problems with your digestive system, particularly processing milk and processing gluten may, have, it may, may be involved as well. But because you're older, you've got a lot more stuff going on. So here's what you need to do, Mark. Guaranteed, 100%. There's other things happening in your body. You cannot have a significant skin condition, which is what you're describing, without having other symptoms. If you don't know you have them, you got to find them. we got to put together a picture of what's happening in your system. And to do that, you need at least three points. I call that triangulation. You need to triangulate. You have to have three points in your body where things are messed up so that we can get a little picture of what's happening. The more points, the better. Uh, typically what's going to happen, and this is typically, but I'd like to have some more points, it's a problem processing fats and fatty foods, and it may now be in, uh, involve your fatty hormone system. All right, does any of this sound like it might be familiar to you or something? Is it ringing a bell at all? Uh, no, but I am okay. overweight. Okay, well, that's, you know, no worries. We'll, we'll take care of that as well. How's your hair? Uh, hair is Thin. fine, but I have a lot of dandruff. Okay, bingo. 
uh, here's what you need to do. And uh, dandruff is uh, another fatty issue, and uh, overweight is could definitely be a problem processing fats. So you're dealing more than likely those are those are good three good points. You're dealing more than likely with a problem with your liver and your gallbladder and your intestine in that area. Although at this point it's gone into a lot of other issues. Right away you need to do a food diary, Mark. Right away today. If you're serious about this, and by the way, Mark, you can be a new man in, in 30 days. You can start to notice dramatic results, dramatic visible results in seven, and you can start the process immediately. Okay? And that's where you're going to do food diary. If you can fast, that's ideal. If you can't fast, eat as normal, but write down everything you're eating. But it would help to be not to use complicated foods. Eat foods that only have one working part. So instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just have peanuts. Instead of a big old salad, just have celery. Instead of uh, some kind of fancy fish dish, dish, fish dish, just have a piece of fish. You follow me? Okay. So that will help you isolate the problems. But more than likely, they're going to be in the fatty area, fatty foods. That's first of all. Secondly, get on a, the best probiotic you can find. You know I love the BioLumin Nightly Essence. You can find that from Longevity. Start taking three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. If you can, aside from your food diary and eat the way you're eating is normal, if you can start to, to uh, do some vegetable juices, that will help you. And you'll notice that the vegetable juices are extremely filling, and that will help you elim with your food elimination. That's going to support food elimination. Does that, does that make sense, bro, Mark? Yeah. yeah okay. Thanks. All right, good. There's more. There's way more. Get on the ultimate EFAs right away. And when you're taking your ultimate EFAs, take them with food. And make sure you're taking them with your ultimate enzymes and some apple cider vinegar. Because remember, you're not processing fats. We need to support fat processing. All right? Now, there's some micronutrients that are going to be of absolute, absolute importance. I can't hear the music, by the way, if you can hear me, Keith. Um, uh, there's some micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, that are absolutely, absolutely important. Uh, and I will tell you what those are when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. And if you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us today. If you have a health challenge you want dealing, you want help dealing with, if you have a loved one who's got a health challenge and you want to help them deal with it, give us a shout. 844-236-6010 is our number. You know what? If you have a health challenge, you have a loved one who has a health challenge, you know, you could feel, sometimes we feel like it's just us, but uh, there's lots of people with health challenges. In fact, throughout history, a lot of celebrities have health, had health challenges. And tomorrow, we're going to be talking to uh, B -B 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 Claudia Kalb, author of a book called Andy Warhol Was a Hoarder Inside the Minds of History's Great Personalities. Apparently, George Gershwin had attention deficit disorder. Uh, check this out. Albert Einstein apparently was an autistic. Charles Darwin had clinical anxiety. Uh, Marilyn Monroe had, it was a borderline personality, border, they call it borderline personality disorder. The famous uh, Russian author uh, Dostoevsky, Fyodor Dost Dostoevsky, was a compulsive gambler. We're going to be talking to Claudia Kalb about some of, the, uh, some of the health challenges confronted by some of his history's greatest names. We'll do that tomorrow on the Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to... Uh, da, 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 Fred, who we got on the line here, Keith? Help me out here. T -t 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 Carl. We're oh, no, not Carl. Did you let go of the other guy? Andy, I think it was. Did we lose Andy? Let me see here. Sorry about that. We're going to talk about... Oh, we lost Andy. All right. So I, I was going to tell Andy, if he's listening, uh, micronutrients are very important for acne as well, for cystic acne. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Hope you're listening, Andy, because this is some good stuff. Uh, uh, anybody dealing with acne, zinc, 50 milligrams a day for uh, Andy. Uh, I think his name was Andy in Austin. He was having a problem with fat metabolism. So make sure you're taking your zinc and your selenium, about 600 micrograms a day, with your essential fatty acids and fatty foods, as well as your ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar. I personally would throw in some lecithin and bile salts, all in the interest of helping your body process fats. Vitamin E, stupendously important, 400 international units a day. I'd be using NAC, about 600 mic uh, milligrams a day of NAC. NAC. And then, uh, let's see if you want to throw in a couple other things, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. And make sure you're getting beautiful, beautiful.
beautiful sunshine. Super important for healing the skin. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, Carl? How you doing, man? Hanging in there. It hey, is sunshiny. Absolutely here today. So I'm going to go out after immediately 